Hello everyone, King Wither here. Um, I made a new world for, um, <laughs> since the server's resetting, I made a little um, design for how I want it to go. Uh, it's nothing related to this, but yeah. Alright, opening up the world. Woohoo. I think we were mining for netherite again. Now that I think about it. Yeah, so we'll... Oh, my brightness is very low. We'll just start looking. Right into fighting. <laughs> All right. um, I mean, we have some gold we could trade, but like, we don't have space. So. Yeah, sorry, I don't know how dark this is. Ah, go away. I think that's where it is. I almost want to light this up, but then, then again, I'm not gonna because <laughs> we want to be able to make a farm down here. That's the point. Well, I mean, not a farm, but like an area for us to... to fight the zombie big ones in. It's a lot cheaper to do it this way than... <laughs> you know, clear out a whole area, make sure it's all lit up so that they only spawn here. It's not going to be as efficient, but like, you know, you're still going to get it. <laughs> and for one player, it's not like you need all that experience all the time. Right, we're working our way back over to the, uh, Bottoms first. Did that not block it? It's not. No. Bottoms first. And the top. Man. We're just not getting lucky with a. Uh... Wait. Yeah, we're just not getting lucky with the ancient debris, I guess. Okay. <laughs> we got it. Uh, let's see. Is it bright over here? Oh, it's because we found some. Uh, okay, more clearing. Ceiling. That's weird that we haven't found anything. using the beds because it makes it way too messy. You might as well just clear it out the way you want it in the first place, then you know, do a huge explosion and ruin it. Are you mad? <laughs> he is mad. Yeah, we're leaving once um, we find four ancient debris, or we um, get close to breaking this pickaxe. It does take a good while to find it all. Oh, 
Oh, we found a lot of quartz. So that's good. Sorry, I've not. I haven't been showing off a lot of uh, <laughs> 1.17 stuff. We kind of already did most of that. I know I had mentioned it to people that I did 1.17, but I meant in my older videos, and I'm pretty sure I specified that a little bit. We haven't really done anything new with 1.17 stuff since uh, oh, since uh, the other house, but. I know, we've got like axolotls and stuff, so it's still relevant. It's kind of crazy that we haven't found any other pieces of ancient debris. Quite rare. I feel like I find them faster. On the server, but like, even on the server it's hard to find. Except like, <laughs> you have like, the enchantment called excavation, where you like break like up to like 18 blocks at a time. It's crazy. Just don't have that here. Screams freaking out. Block of quartz is what we want. Actually, what we actually what we want is the nether. The quartz is we're, we're getting blocks for it. I'm gonna use quartz and tuft or tough whatever it is on the uh, floating castle eventually when we do that. But we're not doing that till we beat the uh, there we go till we beat the uh, end dragon. It's a little bit. My guess is that, you know, for sure we're going to beat the end dragon within 10 episodes. It's just a matter of how prepared we want to be. We could go beat it right now, just with unenchanted. Hey, sweet. With unenchanted stuff, we could do it. But, you know how it is. People do it with no armor anyway, just beds. It seems. Yeah, it doesn't have anybody around. Well, we gotta go back over this way to mine the other one we found. So don't worry. You know, there's something satisfying about seeing so many blocks broken all at once. Not just a single one, too. And we hope that no lava falls on our heads. trip. <laughs> well, we have the four. <laughs> to make another tool. Is that all we want to do is come down here every four? 
I'll just mine for four each time. That might help spread up the episodes a little. Instead of, you know, spending forever getting 20. I don't remember the rates that I had on the server for how fast I could get netherite, but it was way faster than this. To be expected. But and if we find a We'll go for one more piece of ancient green. But if we, you know, if it's only a group of like one, then we're done. But if it's a group of three, we'll. As long as we keep finding quartz, we're able to do that. And so we will. The thing is, like, I don't know where we're going. <laughs> That's like where we started. We this huge area. And we've only found like eight total so far. Wild. And you wouldn't get this even of a layer using beds. And everything would be on fire, and you would be on fire. That's not good. I don't know if there's a trick to finding the debris, like, um, there we go. but like, there's like a counting trick, or, but we're on, we're on layer 13, I think, 12, because, uh, 13 is the max, and that's like at our face, and so here, and then here, is where we're looking for the most of them. So our head is at the level where most of them spawn, according to a graph that I saw. Hey, it's a batch of two. We'll keep going for another tool. That's wonderful. Yeah, we only need to find two more, so we'll continue. Or, you know, like I said, with with our durability. Boring start, but we'll have two more pieces in another right here. That is very much worth it. Underneath the, the gravel. It's annoying. I'm not even going to go after it. Sorry. We'll go after the gravel later. When we have a Fortune 3. <laughs> nah, we don't want a lot of. We don't want a lot of uh, flint. That's only good for uh, making arrowheads and stuff. Hey, there's another one. Right, let's flatten the top. Let's get lucky. No, we still have to go find one more piece, but that's fine. This is our number seven. Is when we're stopping. Should be soon. Alright, there's our number eight. We're good to stop after this. Beautiful. Let's check around it. It's just, you know, that stuff. Look at the gold. I think we're good. I don't think I left anything 
unattended or unfinished. Do a quick touch up for all of the overhangs. I guess we'll uh, head back home. Did we want to <laughs> kill these guys? Risk it? There's not a lot anymore. There used to be a ton. I mean, there is a ton still, but it's not a ton to. <laughs> Let's do it. Because then, you know, we can run. We can run around the corners and stuff. We'll just come back and they'll be angry at us, but... Oh, what's new? Alright, I'm gonna put the block down up front. Get my, uh... Golden apple handy. We shouldn't have to worry, because it's only the, the little... The little ones that come out. But here we go. Let's fight him. Wow, crossbows do not go far, do they? But aim up. Chunk. Nope. Gotta aim. We're sort of in the middle. Oh, and they're despawning. Oh no. Alright, here they come. You've alerted the horde. <laughs> the thing is, I don't have smite or anything, but like. That doesn't matter. See, they come from forever away. We get free gold, though. Oh. Oops. I really should have this in my offhand. That was it? Really? <laughs> that was it. I guess they, they, um, I'd have to build it more in the center. That's funny, yeah. I'd have to build it more in the center here, and then shoot them out. Uh, so there's a lot of piglins though, now that I cleared out the zombies. Cool, I mean, we got like, one more piece of gold, I think. And a little bit of experience. That's whatever. Back home through the tunnel. How much time did we waste? 20 minutes? For 8 pieces? Oh wait, I had already mined before. So it's like 20 minutes for like 4 pieces. That's still kind of crazy. But hey. And then the long journey back home. Thinking about set mouse. This is the dumb part where everybody gets dizzy. <laughs> Wonder if there's an easier way. This is probably not much better. Looking up. I mean, it's not bugging me as much. Maybe I'll look up from now on. Do I have? Yeah, I do have blaze rods. I was just saying we could go we could go fight some blazes. Weird. Careful. But I don't I don't care to do that quite yet. Unless we have to. Chunk. Chunk. Cool. Oh, there's another one. Let's go get him too. much you need for I guess it depends on your portal. Jeez. 
that jumped from so far. So, in the reset, I think we're going to have to go search for basalt deltas all the time. Because that is the block we're going to need to form the inside of the town. And we're going to need probably a couple thousand blocks of it, if not tens of thousands. It's going to be a little, a little ridiculous. But... Who knows? Well, that's fun. It's a lot of work ahead of us. But hello, Strider. No magma cubes around. Okay. Alright, cool. Back home. Let me figure out what we're gonna do. So I do need... I'm thinking about just straight up throwing the... Another right on this. I want to re-roll this for something better because this sharpness three is not good. But we don't have, you know, we don't have the levels for it. At least this, maybe that, because we still need unbreaking three and another protection three book on it. So that might that might be a while. We might as well, but like, it's not the fullest potential. Gotta keep going this way, not that way. So you can see what's where I wanna do it. Yeah, I'm I'm really thinking we just uh slope this down a little better. We'll cut it down and have it slope. And that'll be the road. And then it'll curve around here past the new um cow farm that I'm gonna set up for I don't know how I wanna do it. Probably we'll do it the same way and then just decorate the outside later. I don't know. Yeah, let's go dump all this off. Probably chuck some some netherrack into the furnace furnaces, because we are going to be out of space like immediately. So. Well, let's just other stuff real quick. Look at all that gold! It's a lot of gold. It's a lot of a lot of trades to do. But, and then we'll probably from the trades we'll get the most ender pearls that we need. So that's cool. Yeah, let's just turn that much into quartz blocks. We have a lot. Well, it seems like a lot, but it's not a lot. It's like five stacks of quartz blocks. Didn't make an overflow, so I guess I don't have a ton of netherrack. I'm just gonna chuck all that in there. Grab our levels. Almost done. Check all our furnaces, because I know I put them in random ones sometimes. Two little things of the experience. Oof, that was weird. What am I doing? I forget. Put this away. Do we go find where the, <laughs> the fortress is? Get get some some of that set up. Take a boat.
I think the rest don't have any fuel, but we can fix that. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this uh, netherrack stuff, but we will see. It's kind of an ongoing process. <laughs> yeah, we'll go find the... What am I talking about? <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking in my head while, while doing things. You know how that is. The fortress. Oh, jeez. I'm just gonna put that back away. Food gets put away. I thought I made more. I guess not. We'll just take that. This can go away. Can we make more eyes of Ender? See how many we need just to get ahead of ahead of the, the curve. We need up to twelve. So we're banking on a <laughs> on that many being there, but probably gonna we're probably gonna need a lot more. We're not really going down to 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 get to, eh, whatever. We're not gonna do it. Talk myself out of it. <laughs> Not ready yet to go find it. Are ready for perhaps some more building. Done our exploration, we've done all that. Um, yeah, sure, let's uh let's just look for something to build. Maybe we do the um, banner today, but I didn't. I haven't found a design of a banner I want just yet. Like we'll put a banner there, a banner there, 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 and then out the front somewhere. Maybe there. So we're gonna need like ten banners. I just. Well, let's go harvest the. Chicken stuck in there. We'll go harvest the wheat at least. I don't think this will work yet. Yeah, we're good. But yeah, let's let's sleep first. Woo. Oh, gosh dang it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I don't want anything else except wheat. Then we'll just just go. This uh, using the fortune on it. I've told you guys before. All right, and just to show five, three, four. Three, four. Doesn't affect it. But it does affect the uh, seeds, at least, I think. Which I don't mind if we get a ton of those either, because we'll put them in the compost. I don't know if it actually works on the wheat, but for sure it works on the seeds and the like potatoes and carrots and stuff. Just gather it all real quick so we don't miss any. Alright, how much did we get from this little area? Ah! <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> it's okay. It's a lot more than I thought it was going to give us. And we didn't even do the whole thing. Neat. It needs automatic farms when you can have tiered farms that look cool. <laughs> But you still have to struggle to take it away. <laughs> I think it's a, I think it's a multiple repeated falls on the same block that makes it fall, or really heavy falls. 
like when we were fighting the zombies in the field for some reason. Someone kept breaking all my stuff. Just for me hitting them into it. That's why you usually put, you know, fences around your crops. But don't need to do that. It's a wild farm. Anyway, this week's for um, hay bales and the arrow shooting things, because I'm thinking we make the, the military camp out front or something. Yes. It's ideas. This away first, though. We need all that extra seeds. That's gonna be a lot of oatmeal. Cool. I guess we have extras. Sure. Um. Oh, we got some villager friends in that direction. All right, let me check the timer. Only a half hour. Holy moly! I think the we should start with the road. That sounds like a thing to me. Just extending the road around the edge and down here. So we'll, we'll grab a bunch of. We'll put the crops away, but we'll, we'll do the decoration later. Um. already have a few. We'll take those. We're just gonna do a real quick outline, which usually is just uh, like before. You just run towards the location you want and then run back. The thing is, I don't know. Where does it curve to? There. It curves out here and then sort of down here is the road, not up here as much, which is fine. Just have it curve inwards. Chop some of this down. And then I just put it there. It's fine. Totally fine. I don't want to hug it too close, so I want to put roads, I mean, um, trees along it. It's like a sort of tree. Um, <laughs> what am I trying to say? Like a, a covered road kind of thing. Because I do want to start put, putting more trees in here. You know, like blending the spruce down and the, the oak down. So we'll see. We'll see where we split. So if I was running this way and then I wanted to go to the farm, I'd probably split about here. That's so awful, but you know the you know the drill. Literally just run towards the location. And then we run back. In another way. Let's take our shield off real quick. Then you decide where you want the curves to really show. That's where our fork will be. Then we'll run one more time. I don't know. <laughs> it relies on going full speed. Because <laughs> otherwise you end up with those gross patches. But that's okay. Well, you end up with uh, stuff you don't want. Then you take a look at it. Sure. Looking fine. 
want to curve it to me a bit more here. It's okay to have a little bit rough where you're That's better. Yeah, cool. Uh, and then I don't think we have any more coarse sand. I mean, coarse dirt, but we're going to put some of that in here too. Just like we did on the river. I think we used it all. <laughs> it's fine. Make another giant amount. The problem is, I don't want to do that. Just a step. Remember, we wanted to make a, what is it called, um, concrete powder so we could build the statue. So, back to building. I think I'm going to go back to doing timestamps for every video, even if it's boring. Like, we just got to... These are so long that um, people have to have an opportunity to skip around. So there's no point um, making people sit around and watch for stuff they don't want to see. Unfortunately. <laughs> I don't mind it. Oh, jeez. It's going to be a little bit more. There you go. Yeah, it's a shift click. Oh, jeez. Jeez. Come on. This is going to be a little dumb. We're going to have to push F every time. Some of the inner ones need to get um, just turned into course. It's not a big deal. It's just, you know, it's, it's more blending. Woohoo. It's a weird curve. Doesn't have enough on this this section right here. It's still weird looking, but at least it's a little wider now. Turns into a three three wide road. It doesn't bank hard enough though. That's whatever. Keep saying that, but you know how he is. Okay, this is just getting ridiculous. I'm just gonna push the numbers. Honestly, I don't care enough. <laughs> High difference is going to be a little strange, but it shouldn't matter. I can just be normal dirt, honestly. It's a little more rough. It's exactly kind of what I wanted to it to look like, but we're running short on things. We'll see if this take if that this works. Please, how many are there? 
these two. Ah, ah. Everything freaking out on me. Stop. Honestly, considering just doing it by hand. good enough for now. Um, let's go grab that bone meal. We're gonna do a little bit of um, road work. That way. And then um, after we're done with this we're gonna do the wraparound. So all I gotta do is run along the edge and then we'll we cut down the um, the doubles. Even if like some grass gets in the middle, I don't care. It's good enough. So we bone meal it, but then <laughs> then we get rid of the tall grass. The rest can stay. So I just kind of run around. And then we can thin it out if it looks too wild. Usually the double grass getting thrown away is good enough. Now we have a, a nice little path and we'll put um, some saplings in there too. Uh, we're gonna do that pretty much the whole way. So here, all the way to the castle door. I know we made a ginormous field earlier, but we're going to take care of that pretty soon, too. Oh, it's, it's, a little, it's a little, little greener. A little more green. Whatever it is in, in the proper English. So the reason I don't just shear off like the top of it is because um, it just looks better, I guess. Is this really all the bone meal we had? <laughs> I feel like we used it up real quick. Nice. And now it's a little bit more of a scenic thing. Uh, let's see if we have any Bruce saplings hanging around. We do. Well, this is like actual landscaping. <laughs> um, we do not. We have a few oaks though. We'll probably go chop down some trees while we're out and about. Always build a, you know, make more ponds, do whatever. How far down do I want them to go? That's a good question. Probably somewhere down to just you know, right here. So I'm going to try and connect the forest like down to here, some way, maybe another pond, <laughs> river, me and my rivers, I guess. Um, yeah, we're 
just gotta go grab some spruce. Good thing we've been doing our forest making. Like usual, we're gonna chop the smallest trees. Keep the tallest. Chop the smallest, keep the tallest. And then also the ones that have room to run underneath it, I like to cut out too, just as a general thing. Start looking for the saplings. Pretty sure it messes with the durability if I smack it with the fortune. That guy's fine enough. See, this looks weird though, like Mojang. You made like a three solid surface. I want to trim this down. Actually, I might do that. <laughs> In the future, I might do that. Go around with a clipper and a hedge trim all these things. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not a fan of, of some of it. And then the really, like, really, really leafy ones. I don't know around unless they're you know in a place I'm not gonna run very often uh, yeah, so this one one behind it then we'll see about how many um, how many saplings we have by the end of it so we do want to replant some of these. Again, we just separate the leaves so that they don't try and save each other. <laughs> All right. Just start chopping. Bumping my microphone like a dummy. Dummy, dummy, dummy. That's me. Only one. Almost a degrees. That's good. Whoa! Five! That's what the super leaf ones do. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thirteen. I want to have like twenty. Twenty spare ones. So, we'll keep going for a bit. Keep chopping these, these ones down that have not enough running space underneath. Plus they can get taller than that. Just like this area too. That that, that statue is gonna be so weird. It's gonna be so far away though. Ah, oh, dang! I keep forgetting we gotta do the. Uh, one of these days we'll run up to the desert to get a bunch of sand so we can actually make the the glass for it. I think we have enough glass, but definitely not enough uh, cactus. So I don't know where to where I want to put a cactus farm. <laughs> Or if we just go out to the desert and do like what we're doing here. Just break a bunch, plant them, break a bunch, plant. Alright, yeah, let's plant nine. Nine more saplings here somewhere. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. See more saplings. Nine, ten. Oh, eleven. We can go eleven. Eleven. Nice. So I think we actually replaced everything. Maybe not. All right. Now we decide how far in. So I do like them being on the coast. Coastal um, spruce trees, if they'll grow. Sometimes they don't grow in these weird positions, so we'll just dump a few, see what happens. 
usually how I do things. We'll just see what happens. <laughs> and then hopefully they start to reach. And we'll, you know, do the same thing here. Have a little forest right on the edge of the city. Or fort. Yeah, I should have grabbed more. But that'll be our little bit. Yeah, that already looks so much better. Looks like it's made its own little forest that way. Yeah. Um, do we make our lantern road? Things? We have street. Oh, jeez, street lights, hiccups again. You never know when they're gonna strike next. Stump off some stuff. Do we want? I think we just straight up do cobble. I don't. Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know if you can do this. You can. Interesting. We're gonna have those, but um, I'll do that later. Chains, lanterns, we'll do 13, possibly maybe more. Jeez, uh, what am I doing? That's what I'm feeling this whole time. What am I doing? I'm just some guy. Playing Minecraft for fun. Breaking the fourth wall. Breaking the immersion of the episode, oh no. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Um, I like you know, sort of the same way where you put the torches down on the right hand side of the way you're going. That's how I like to, to start. And so you can sort of see where, you know, where you've been. Just by, you know, the lanterns are on the right hand side of the road from where you've been. I've always gone like one out, and then it's been like as far as I can jump, plus plus one or two, like that, and then just over, and that's usually the height that I use. It's decent enough, and then you can hang a lantern from it, or just you know lantern from the normal space. You don't even need the chain. Like that. It'll do. Maybe I'll grab a some spruce wood or do something on the bottom. Make it out of the. Just throw that on there. Not sure. Yeah, I mean, that's not. It's not awful. It's just the ba the most basic, you know, lamp post. So I like to do that every like 15, 20 blocks. And then one more tall, usually. Yeah. All right. I think that's what I usually do, right? It's one, two, three, and then the top one. Yeah. It's one, two, three, and then the top one. Yeah, that's what I do every time. The thing is, like, it doesn't actually light up the road everywhere. But um, it does look better when you're traveling. Mobs will be on the road at night, but it's it's still pretty cool. I think get more cobble though. That's one, two, 
two, three, top. Jeez, how do I manage that every single time? I always manage to misplace it. So, you know, every so often there's just a big thing of light. Like one right over here. Why are there two talls? Something like right here. I was gonna um, use the mossy cobble to change it up a bit. One, two, three, three. <laughs> Voice crack. No, I did that one on purpose. I swear. Pretty average. It's nothing to write home about, but hey, if pretty average blends in, something wrong with it. No, not really. Just grabbing more, um, more cobblestone. I don't really do paved roads. I do like the dirt roads. The only reason it makes sense to make uh, the paved roads is like over mountain, where you can't, you know, do that. So like over here, but we're going, you know, straight through over dirt. But, you know, say we go this way or down to the coast, like we're going to not have dirt, we're going to have um, cobble paved. Right back to what we were doing. One. You kind of just gotta eyeball it. It's like right here, right where it starts to turn, but not quite. Or, I don't know if I can. Come on, not this time. Ah! <laughs> ah! Come on, I'm clicking on it every time. Uh, another thing, I do it like a block away so that this um, shines sort of onto where, like into that gap. Nice little lanterns, and we'll break all of the... It's definitely not enough to keep it uh, lit, but you'll see, you'll see the effect that I'm going for. You'll see. It's more of like a lamppost kind of thing. And you know, it's back in the day when they did that sort of thing. Uh, we'll do them here, just right in the center. Back when they did it, it wasn't, uh, wasn't lighting up every, you know, square inch. It was just to get by and not fall off ledges and stuff. So that'll be sort of count uh, for both both of these roads, and then another one like right here somewhere, one sideways. Two, three, this one more. Yeah. We technically already have that there, but we're gonna <laughs> give him a stable. Pretty soon, or like a with the military place. I don't know around here. Not sure. I don't know. Let's mark out um, where we want it at least, because uh, like we were gonna have them train out here somewhere. So if I if I just do the, the basic outline. We'll have them only go down these two. Up to here. It's, uh, it's not, not terribly big, though. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe this will just be the, the stables. Stables here, military. 
you know, it's a fort, you gotta have a training area, right? I would say like right here, but like it's not it's not good enough. Inside the, the castle fort. I think I wanted to do it here. But I'm not I'm not moving this until yeah, we're doing it here. We'll have it be uh like training dummies and stuff right here on this wall. After we get this guy leveled. Because <laughs> he is not leveled, and if I break it, he's gonna we're gonna lose our mending. So we wanna level him up as much as we can. Before we go crazy. With with any more interior work. So that's a sort of section of something. The farm well the road is gonna go through here. The farm is gonna take up this, this section. Let's mark out a rectangle real quick. Something like here. This will go like all the way. all the way over and that'll be the the whole field and that'll just be for cows yeah why not let's just chunk it down that'll be where the cows go it's a lot of cows but you know do something like that so it's, a, it's actually clear. Everything in the middle. So our opportunity. <laughs> oh man, hiccups. Every other. Something up there, sure. Something here. Not sure what opportunity to use the <laughs> example we'll we'll do some stuff in here too uh, but you know that's all just touch-up work we'll probably have a whole separate touch-up episode all right so here's that's the effect like it, it does get dark in between but like you know it's still dim enough that you can see where you're going but you know there's still gonna be monsters but that's kind of the idea. Plus, if you start, it's okay to have monsters every so often, but like when you start concentrating them because you've <laughs> you leave a certain area unlit. I don't know. Let me let me rephrase that. Because like the more you light up, the uh, more frequently mobs will spawn where there is a place for them to spawn. And so if you sort of leave everything open for them, they'll spawn a, a little bit. But, you know, not, not a crazy amount. But if you, like, fully mob-proof it, like, the, the only, like, <laughs> the uh, simplest mistake or whatever can suddenly have, like, 20 mobs in one location. And that's crazy. So, I'm okay with spreading them out and just being careful at night. Plus, we still want to be able to kill stuff at night, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, clearing out the field was what I was doing. So, again, you just burn. It's our opportunity to show the lazy man's way of clearing the field. <laughs> just kind of let it flow. That's That's kind of the way to do it. Do it over here too. Yeah, it's done. You don't have to actually do a lot of work for it. Woohoo. Then we'll fill that up with, with cows at some point. But I think we're gonna go back to the traditional um, just have a cobblestone fence wall around it. Maybe we'll decorate it here and there, but that's that's all we're gonna do. That's gonna be later. We are still getting this stuff done. Alright, so this one. 
that one. So somewhere like right here. Ish. Cool. One or two more blocks over into it here. That's good enough. I used to, I used to have a way of doing it that I could actually go super fast. I just don't remember. I don't remember at the moment. So all of them on the left side will lead us back to where we started. That's the whole idea. Something here. These are really far away, don't you think? I feel like I did I did the other ones real close. Like closer. By a bit. Yeah, just a bit. Maybe by like five blocks closer. Because that is a little bit too far. A little bit. Going right here. That's a little more like it. I'm trying to <laughs> trying to hop on it. I know you can do that, but not today. Yeah, I honestly I used to know what I was doing. And then the last one will be just before the bridge, I think. Maybe, maybe after the bridge too. Yeah, here's here's good. Two, three, one, two, one, 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 two. And then we're at the bridge, and then something at the other end of the bridge. The road will go through there eventually, so something up here, maybe? I guess we'll get there when we get there. We'll figure it out. Alright, yeah, seeing all these grew in. So the forest is a little bit closer. I want to fill that up too. Um, also figure out the, the way down. So I don't think this, I'm going to keep it as like an overhang. I want to have this be a road that goes down. So. And that road will branch off of this road, just like that one did. It'll go like, it'll be going like here, and then it'll go drift this way. Actually, it's going to have to drift a lot of the way. Maybe we don't do that. Maybe we have it branched at the exact same fork, like right here. So it goes this way, this way, and then this one goes this way, like up, and then over, and then down. Jeez, that's going to be a little complicated to, to do right. I almost want to <laughs> have it be the, the circle around, like circle around this, this whole thing. We can do that too. Just a little strange. Because that one would, it would come as a straight thing from here. Like across here, and then down. Then over. Just meander. This way. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. We won't worry about that one till later. will be a later problem once we get something built down there to be worth going after. All right, let's get, so we've done that, we've done our lanterns. We'll have our cut. This will be the triple, the triple fork. It'll go this way. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> It seems as if we have made it difficult for ourselves. But that is fine. Here so, out, just in general, all around here. We might extend it a little bit in certain places, but this is the general path the road is going to take. It'll turn go down something like here. Once I 
trim this up a bit. Have it on there. Thank you. All right, so let's get it up to that point. Take our shield off so we don't do that again. All right, triple fork. Forks here, forks here. Chum, 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 chum. Uh, this goes kind of straight. And then down. All right, going back. Now I want it to curve out a little. Kind of straighten out. Go back this way. This is going to be a really straight road. I guess. And if we're coming out of here, sometimes we can we'll just curve it here. And then when we're curving here, Sometimes they go in, right? Sure. Well, just here and there. That's where we're running. Take a long curve. Down. Nice. needs to get a little wider, but that's okay. Yeah. Nice. Fun little bits of work. And then if we wanted to, yeah, we will. We'll do that this episode, too. Actually, speaking of, yeah, about 15 more minutes if we cut it short, which I'm fine. I'm fine doing that today. So we just got to make it singles. So start with backing up just a bit. We'll take it back like four or five blocks, I think. That should be smooth enough for us. Not too hard to blend it in. It's not too bad of a change either, so it'll just go. bad but we'll <laughs> we'll take care of that in the future <laughs> not right now <laughs> we're busy <laughs> something like that yeah 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 and we also want to make it the illusion of it being the same natural as much as we can. We get another chance to look at, we'll let the sun go down a bit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, just eyeballing it, we might have to build, add some at the bottom, but gotta grab some more shovels too. Okay. It's a lot more wild in that direction. Which is exactly the plan. The, the dangerous forest where all the mobs are totally free to spawn. As long as they're not spawning like by the roads. I don't care. Yeah. Setting setting places aside for mobs to spawn is also a, a pro tip, sort of. So yeah, giving monsters a habitat to live in means they won't come into your habitat very often. Even if it's not well lit. Because this will be closer to you, they will spawn slightly further away from you. Like, so if I was in the center of my house, maybe they would spawn on these ledges and stuff, but we're not, we're not worried about that. 
let them spawn in the forest. I do not care. So that's partly why that's there too. They'll spawn over there. Leave them alone. Okay, back to getting shovels. Actually, are there any endermen around? Hello? I'm going to start killing endermen too if they're more eyes. I feel like that guy doesn't sleep at all. He just hangs out. I wonder why. I wonder why he doesn't sleep. Hi, cat. So. <laughs> okay, dumping stuff off. Actually, we're not going to dump anything off. We're just going to grab more shovels. Two more. We should be fine. And you know we can always replant uh, flowers if we so desired. Or have a mushroom farm. I think uh, dandelions give you health or saturation. I forget. When you mix it with a suspicious stew, which nobody really knows about those either. It's a it's a speedrunner thing that some people. Those are the people that know about that the most, because it's like a, it's a cheaper food source that you can find just while you're exploring here and there. It's kind of the, kind of the thing. I really got to get Smite or, oh jeez, there's another one? Always keep moving, I guess. Alright, any other creepers want to tell me that they're here? Hello? Hey, an enderman. Let's see if we can get him angry. He's too far away. I wonder. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. Oh well. I wanted to fight. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Are you angry? <laughs> Lovely. I'll... Ah! What the freak? <laughs> That's something I wasn't expecting. But, hey. <laughs> it happened. Neat. Okay. 12 minutes. We're gonna have to make it so they're they're not actually. We gotta sharpen the curve a little on some of these. We'll see what happens when we're done. Uh, is that is that that enough? Goes goes goes, and then one more. to do do much to it at all. We will uh, fill it out a little ways though, I think. At least on this side. Oh no, we've ran into the problem, haven't we? Where we get the perfect stairs. fill it anyway, just so I can show you the issue. That is the issue. That is not a natural looking hill, you know. So the way to fix that is you sort of, uh, you see what it does here, like you just start making mounds, and then the mounds you build down from. So like you would make a pyramid shape like four tall or three tall on the top one, and then just start going down. So we're gonna see what we can do. What we already have. Just kind of rough up these edges just a bit. Like even that. Yeah. 
break it up a little bit. It doesn't really matter. It's gonna be ugly, but it's better. It's better than the alternative, where it's just finished. See, now it's not as bad to look at. <laughs> we still might still might take a take a little bit to it, but it's good for now. All right, let's break these blocks. Fill them in. Can't remember exactly where, but. And then we're good to take our shield off, and then a straight shot to the mine, I guess. Yeah, we forgot a little something. Let the water decide where to go from there. Don't shoot at me. I don't have any protection. Looks like we're gonna go this way. So we can fill this in. I know what I just said, but it's okay in, in small amounts to do the to do that. Whatever. It's okay to have it go out a little ways. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right, we're going, we're going. We'll go straight through here. Bust up all this real quick. Maybe a little more. Something over here too. Yeah, it's gonna blow. It still did it. Oh, that's better. Cool. Yeah, the whole the whole idea is to take it to this bridge. Or to like this location. And then we'll probably build another bridge that way. Who knows? Just to take us to the mine. We'll do another branch. We're gonna be doing another branch. Comes off this way and goes up that way to that village somewhere, somehow. So we're going down, we're going down. Curve a little bit, and then we'll stop here, and then we'll decide later. So good. Up around this corner. Up over here. So back down. Turning, that's a little bit steep, isn't it? Maybe we'll stay here and put a bank there. Just any touch-ups as we go. I think we wanted to make this the wider side that we go down. Oh uh, well, it's super, super wide road. That's okay. We'll go up. Sure. I want to make it a little wider in some places on this side. Maybe not there, but you get the idea. <laughs> cool. That's fine enough for now. I just want to just refill some of these mistakes. I think we made it a little too, little too wide in places, but that should be good. I'll cut this guy back, this guy back. Well, now this is the center. Hmm. Maybe these guys are the ones that are too far over.
we'll probably just put them back in exactly the same place, but uh, there we go, that's better. That's a little more tidy, just a teeny bit. That is a little messy. Yeah, I don't know, guys. <laughs> Makes it a little more complicated, I think. But however, it doesn't have to be perfect the first try. It's something we'll we'll spot as we go. Stuff that doesn't look just perfect. Cool. Good enough for me. I don't know if we have any more blocks to... Any more coarse dirt blocks to decorate, but we'll see. I think I'm over time from what I said, but Again, as you know me, I tend to do that. Yeah, nothing. I don't want to. Oh, we do have some. Just a little decoration again. Yeah, see, it still it still gets kind of dark. That's the idea. Let it get a little dark in your in your worlds. A little bit of dark is okay. Let the monsters in. But not a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, it's getting kind of dark over here. And it's a new moon. Which I still haven't looked up if it actually does anything different. I think it just gets a little extra dark. Out. But if it does, it's like by a fraction. Okay, hooray. Ew, roads. Uh, let's update the map before we go to bed too. Yeah, that door is causing problems for me sometimes. Alright, map. Let's take a look at what you got. Update. Pop down. Update. Pop down. Update. Pop down. Update. Pop down. Hey, that looks pretty cool. And the roads aren't too crazy, I don't think. Yeah, that central fork can, can definitely get a bit a bit more done to it, can it? Yeah. Um hmm. <laughs> indeed. Maybe we extend the forest and just let it be a continuation, like a diagonal line, you know, all the way across. I do want to put like a woodman, a woodsman's hut, like a lumberjack, in here somewhere, so that he can, you know, have a have a small little clearing in the middle or something, so that he can be our woodcutter. And what else? Okay. Well, there's our mine. The road goes down to the mine now, sort of. Looking good. Yeah, we'll branch. We'll definitely have a branch that goes out this way to the woodsman and to. But then you know, like all the roads, come like branch out from the original house, <laughs> which is not bad either. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do. Just came in here with the idea. Oh yeah, um, seeing if we had any more. Doubt it. I think we used all of it. Can always get more gravel later. Um, hmm. I guess go to sleep. I feel 
feel like I'm totally like forgetting something. What am I forgetting? Well, somebody tell me. What am I forgetting? I guess we'll see when we get there. I'll go to sleep. <laughs> Slide into bed. Oh, it's probably because, like, I'm out of time. Yeah, I, f I just hit 130. It doesn't really matter. I can be on for a little more. I just, I want to cut down on the, the length for you guys, because it's apparently too long. But, you know, I like to play and talk. Sometimes. Let's get some work done on, see, look, like, like they can stay there. You're good. <laughs> Do not mind if you stay in my forest, because you will die before you get to me. See, I told you. <laughs> Done. Ah, I remembered what we were supposed to do. Smarty pants. We were gonna grab um planks. So we can start putting planks around here. I'm trying to click. It's probably because I'm I was blocking it with my height. I kind of, I went a little too much on these, on this area, so it's not broken up the way it needs to be. That's, that's fine. Again, another thing we fix as we go. Oh, not you. Ah, oh, that's weird. Another good reason to just you know leave it open. You'll get the you'll get the mob drops without any work. Yeah, let's put a few in the middle here and here and there because I'm not there. Whatever. <sighs> Remember misclicks all the time. I do them all the time. <laughs> and I hate it all the time. And here needs a little little clearer pathway. Cool. Uh bone meal. Whatever. to get this work done. Sure. <laughs> Break the tall grass like usual. Breaking the tall grass makes it uh, blend a little better too. It's okay for tall grass to be like where you're not walking, but not like on the side of the road. It's okay to have wild areas. It's one thing I want you guys to remember. It's okay to have wild areas in your builds. I think the funny thing is the the next 
one that I would build would be like right here. Right where we just busted it. We gotta make more. I'll do a couple more. It's more than a couple, but hey. We've done it again. Did I not bring oh, I did. I said, wait a minute. And then like up on this hill sort of thing right here. Yeah, we'll we'll chop it in a ways. There. It's a little far. Maybe we'll go one more. And it's a little more centered. Yeah, it's a little far, but that's that's okay. Keep saying that. It's a little far too, but Trying to keep it sort of the same distance apart. Yeah, I'll put it one more over. Every time, like without fail, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. And then one that's like part way down, I'm thinking, right here. The slope ones are kind of strange, but all right, this time. No. No. Evil. Stop. <laughs> yeah. About the right distance. And then over this hill, just down here. Right here. Right here. It's weird, like, because diagonal is a, is a little bit harder to, to judge. Right here's fine. Go on, go on, go on. Stop. <laughs> Stop misclicking. <laughs> okay, we're looking right at the top. Sweet. Sorry, I get like, I'm so frustrated when that happens to me. Let's uh, shave this a little closer. And something right here. We'll blend that. We'll do a little better job later. Right about there. Hmm. That's the thing though. Do we turn it here? Yes, we will do that. We'll turn it here and have to have a um, a bridge be here across this part, not that part. That'll be a, a side thing. We'll probably break it later. But here is a bigger place where the bridge would make more sense. And then maybe we'll flatten that down, have it go that way somewhere, into the birch. <laughs> but for now, we'll have this go inwards. Yes. Such an accomplishment. Such grace. <laughs> That's done. Now what? Snapshot time? Or thumbnail? We'll update the map. Probably pillar up somewhere right here this time. So we can see over the whole thing. I don't want to do it from the, uh, from the house. Maybe a Oh, jeez, hiccups. Maybe from here. Because you can see a good ways. Yeah, that sounds good to me. So let's uh, chuck all that stuff away. Put it all away, and then we'll take our picture, and then we'll end. Decent episode, and we did some building. And got netherite, which I forgot to do. <laughs> Smarty pants, where did we put it? Over here. Ah, oh, dumb, I wasn't holding my, uh, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, the chest plate, for sure, is one of them. Ah, uh, beautiful. Uh, 
pants. <laughs> no, we're not going to do pants, even though I, I would rather have pants for the picture. But we can we can do those too, even though it, it won't have everything on it. Even though it's not fully done. Hey, hey, netherite and, and diamond pants and shoes. <laughs> Okay. It's progress, right? That's what matters. <laughs> and it's fully vanilla. Woohoo. I'll put the seeds away. I'm not gonna feed them to the to the fish today. I don't have anything except maybe the egg. Here, you like eggs? Ah <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I was aiming for the ground, I swear. <laughs> that was funny. I didn't mean to do that at all. <laughs> cool. Tools, tools, bed. Give him some more fresh water to drink as an apology. Uh, this counts as something. This counts as something. Mobs. Nice. And then I was going to just take color up the dirt. Might as well take a shovel so that we can do that faster. Nice. Oh, it's going to be dark though. Is dark better? I feel like I've taken <laughs> I've taken pictures at night in like the past like eight episodes. Uh, there's a chicken jockey. You don't see those very often either. Let's try and get out of their way before they get too angry. Yeah. Did a little bit of little bit of work, right? Alright, it's turn. It's dark. That was the problem last time. Now it's not dark on me. Go this way to not die. Back a little bit. Weird looking. Oh, right. there you go. That'll be our. I think that'll be our picture. Like that. All right. Uh, I want it. We'll turn a teeny, teeny bit. Nice. That's perfect. That's perfect. All right. Uh, one, two, three. Cheese. Woohoo! We we did it. I'll, do, I'll take another one in case there's like smoke or something. Cool. Alright, nice. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm actually gonna get down. Oh no, the chicken. It's the problem with a sweeping edge. Yep. Bop. Whip. Bop. Whip. Bop. There you go. No! <laughs> Chicken. Okay. All right, back home. Go to sleep. I don't like how the creepers spawn like right by the door. That's that's a no go. All right, off to sleep. Dump dump more stuff off. I guess again one more time, and then I guess I'll think about what I want to do for the next episode. We can we can keep building. I don't care. It's just. I think we keep out, keep an eye out for Enderman, so we can get more. Or um, let's do trading. We'll do trading next episode. At the beginning, at least, because we do have quite a lot to trade. So let me grab the emergency apple, the uh, emergency fire potion, and we'll grab all of our gold. We're going to take that for trading tomorrow. Awesome. Yeah, thanks. Um, thanks for watching. I think I'm forgetting something again. I wanted to, to update the maps one more time. And then and then we'll, we'll end. Yes. Because we did do a little bit of road work on that specific spot and this one. Just makes it a little better looking, in my opinion. 
maybe a few trees grew, I don't know. Cool. Hey, looking good. Let's take another, because I, uh, I think I've taken a couple. So I just know that every time there's a picture of this, we can maybe layer it up in the future. Yeah. I like it. Looks good. I'm looking for anything particular that's standing out that I want to change, but... Yeah, this just looks weird. Having so much stone in that one area. But I don't want to, like, break it all. Maybe, maybe down here. On, um, on this part. Like, we cut it off here and then fill that with... That scared me for a second. I was like, what the heck? Where's all the, where the, where's that zombie coming from? It's probably from outside. So it's like, I feel like really. Is there a dark spot in this place? Alright, yeah. Good night. Thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate you all. I'll take a wave from the balcony. Alright. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Alright, bye bye. Actually, I always face you. When I say goodbye. Alright, goodbye. <laughs>